<clears throat> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zay. I'm back with the Zay Show. I'm at the Today Show. And today I'm going to be reacting to... Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. The suspicious... I can't even say it. The suspicious rise of Ice Spice. Mrs. Shudda da coulda da woulda da. Mr. Mrs. Fricker, whatever she be saying, goddamn. Mrs. You know what she be doing with this hand when she bend over, bitch. But let's get straight to it. The rise of Ice Spice is pretty suspicious. Let me explain. Yeah, it's pretty what suspicious. What you expect from an artist who has only been making music for about a year and is already co-signed by Drake, has featured with Cardi B, peaked at number five on Billboard's Top 100, and damn near has... I ain't gonna lie, you already know what Drake was on when he, when that when she first came out and everything. I ain't gonna lie, if I feel like if Drake tried to hit, I'm just gonna automatically say Drake probably hit. Because I can't really see no female getting the chance to hit Drake and no hit Drake, like... I don't see it happening, so. Got some clout there. It was giving Kim Kardashian vibes in the beginning. Continent reciting her lyrics. That's her much. Nah, we ain't about to get copyrighted, though. The weird thing is, all that hype and momentum just isn't translating the way you think it would for an artist doing these kinds of numbers. And, oh yeah, let me speak on that Nicki feature, too, because let me bring that shit back. Because the whole reason Nicki even did that feature with her is because Nicki trying to get her relevancy with the younger audience up. Because Nicki straight said in an interview, uh, like literally a few weeks before she did the feature, was like, oh yeah, uh, back when, like back in the day, you know, when you turned on the radio, you just heard talented artists. But now when you turn the radio on, it's just, you just hear people who's popular. So then she went ahead and then made a song with this popular ass girl that... I'm not going to say she don't have no skill, but she really is kind of bad, for real. Like, And the fact that she has a song with Nicki Minaj, like when all these other female artists that are way better than her have been putting way more work in than her, and they don't have that feature. not saying that they deserve it. I'm just saying that when you look at this shit from the, the, the bird's eye view of why you know the, why the whole thing is going on, it's really corny and gay, for real. Like, not gay, it's just lame, like. To call her out when she did a performance in Houston with seemingly no one singing any of her lyrics. Houston, we not playing that shit, bro. Houston, we too real, bro. We're gonna be like, if that shit not it, we just I'm not gonna vibe. This, she doesn't even have ten official I'm a new artist, bro. When I go do my shows, when they feel the song, they vibe with me. When it and they don't feel a song, if the mood ain't right for that song or something, they just gonna <laughs> like we do not do the fake. Like, if we fuck with you, we gonna fuck with you 110, but if we don't, we not gonna fake it. hit single so explosive, she's more searched up than these guys. Could it simply be because of simps? Do people really like her because she's one of New York's best drill rappers? Or is there something much to It's because she well, fine. Well, understand that, let's and cause she talk thick, about industry plans. And because she doing that, that is, and grabbing her coochie and all of that. Plenty of artists in the world want to be the next big star. And labels want to be the one who find them so they can be the ones who cash out on the prize. The problem is, it takes way too long to do that. And there's a much easier way. In fact, it's many artists her. we all know and love today With a little ginger hair and shit. She's just different. She's stick out. She's a character. That's as the whole thing. Startup label to create a pseudo organic following. They basically act as if things are randomly happening for them solely based on their talent. Yet they use paid ads, flood social media outlets, and literally a bunch of TikTok all this social media shit about Blueface and Chris Sean. All, if you go on social media, it's literally just Ice Spice. It's the same people, bro. Or once some, somebody do some weird or crazy shit, they just keep the spotlight on them. Like, that's why I'd be like, bro, like, the world, social media, that shit just weird, bro. ...in some of their videos. This is a low-risk slash high-reward situation for labels looking to build the next big star. And when you present someone like... Because Ice Spice, Ice Spice is, is relevant as hell, and she's going to stay relevant. And it don't even really no matter about her music, bro. Behind her. With that being said, people have been eagerly trying to figure out where the hell Ice Spice spawned from, and if this is just another one of the media stunts. And I'll be the first to tell you that something is suspicious. Although Munch was a banger, his success was a little yeah, Munch too was decent. Euphoric. One Reddit user user questioned how she was able to be featured on New York Times article while others pointed to the fact that she landed a spot on major Spotify playlist among other elite rappers in the game. She's a light skin with a fat ass and not to mention she has someone behind her with money that's doing a lot of shit for her. Sex sells. I won't listen to her music but I'll watch her jiggle. She probably <laughs> fucked someone with connections weeks ago. I, so I ain't gonna all put all that on her. It's just, you know, industry plant and claims she that her bad, she marketable. Organic. So let's take a deeper look. In March the song 2021, was decent. Ice went viral for the very first time. 
lines. Was, it was way before she ever made a song. It was after she posted a video on TikTok doing Erica Banks' Buzz It Challenge. At the time, Tell she claimed to have bad. already been thinking of doing music and she wasn't, was already bro. talking to a main house producer, conveniently, by the name of Riot. After going viral, she dropped put four together. more tracks and was able to get significant buzz pretty quickly. This actually raises my eyebrows a little bit because I'm sure we've all stumbled onto popular TikTokers who promote their music like crazy but don't really see any success out of it. However, I Spice managed to somehow decode the system and landed my, a number five billboard my, in return. When asked about how she I'm felt about, about people calling her an industry plant, she claimed, I know what it took me to get here, and I know how much work I'm putting in. I truly feel like they know I'm not a plant, and I think they just say stuff like that because they're mad that I'm going up faster than their fave. I would say stream your fave more. And despite there being a lot of truth to the statement, there's definitely more to it that I believe she's not shedding any Like I said, I ain't taking right away from so, the girl so it would be what she do to bring to the table Stay musically. Hydrated. And it's a little bit, but it's just like... Let's fast forward to August. Well, he said it is a little weird how she just came out of nowhere Drake and ended up being so big. But you gotta think, social media always looking for something new. Some of, some of the biggest like, artists in the game wouldn't be they anywhere keep talk, they, they keep posting Carly Rae body, body and all that. So you know, they talk about Lizzo. And although the Drake just every female they can say something about. Used to be, we can definitely use his relationship with Ice Spice as a great example of why networking in the industry is so important. It really puts an emphasis on the saying, "It's not about what you know, it's about who you know." Well, the streets are saying that Drake was trying to sign. Ice Spice, but there was one big problem. After sliding in her DMs, telling her that he fucked with her music and that her freestyle was hard, he immediately booked a date with her in typical Drizzy fashion. The two were spotted in Toronto together and seemed to have a pretty good time, but this is where it gets weird. Drake ended up unfollowing Ice Spice on Instagram the following day, which sparked many rumors and really told us all the answers we need to know on yeah, I didn't know he not flew Ice out. was truly an industry plant or not. Just for the yeah. sake of documentation, this is what Ice Spice out. thinks about the situation. It's been speculated that Drake unfollowed you afterwards. You want to tell us some tea on that? He did. I don't know why, though. <laughs> Shame on you, Drake. Shame on you. You shouldn't have done that. It's okay, though. She's okay, out it's, here. It's all love. Now, there's no official Unless she about didn't, because she's talking about it's all love. Either she know why he unfollowed her, because she's like, girl, I ain't fucking with you like that. Or she was like, not like, like stiff, stiff, not going for it, you know, type shit. And then Drake was like, no, fuck you. Wasting my time, you know. It could be either one. I ain't gonna speculate on that girl like morality on fucking Drake. Who knows? Like I said, I wouldn't too much put it past none of them, but you never know. After doing some pretty intense research on the topic, I gotta admit, this really gave us all the answers we needed. So a lot of people think that Drake was really eager to sign Ice to his OVO label. But when he flew her out, he realized she was already signed to a label this whole time and her rise was completely fabricated. So instead mm. of Drake being able to claim this hot up and coming artist who started to pick up some intense buzz, Drake didn't want anything to do with her. This could also have to do with the fact that Ice Spice was signed to the same label as CJ, which further explains how her rise wasn't so organic after all. I feel like this is just mm. kind of messed up for drake to do though like you could have at least lobbed her some kind of help with one of her songs or at least have kept an open line of connection with her now we don't know what really happened behind because i'm scene. telling you it wasn't behind that music shit. Tried that ain't to the reason why B this man but i have a strong feeling that drizzy was just salty he gave all that attention to someone that he really saw himself doing serious business with until he realized it was just the higher ups basically giving this woman a platform one common thing you see a lot of people say about ice is they like to watch her rather than listen the label who signed her obviously picked up on this and were she a 10, but she sound better on mute, bro. Drake, production, cop the world star but promo. The fact that he Drake said that petty bar, feature. Drake now probably did seeing her. But what are the odds Ice Spice will survive in today's current climate? Oh, he did. We don't know. After... All right, y'all. So I'm done with this video. If y'all think that Drake will hit your girl if she had the chance, like if your girl got the chance, if you think Drake will hit her, comment down below. Or, a matter of fact, like the video. And if you think that. Drake, that she wouldn't go, your girl still, she loyal, then like the video. And make sure you subscribe, for show for show, for subscribe, either way. And um, I appreciate y'all, if y'all, especially if y'all made it all over to the end right here, y'all the true ones. And I will see y'all on the next one, gang. Appreciate y'all.